he's right now, he's being like a little puppy dog, you know, he's accepting his pets. He's out of his enclosure, so he's letting it do a little bit more with him. I had to let him get his little wiggles out. The eggs, both of them. Even the little runt egg that I thought wouldn't have had. So I guess Joey was right, but she eats, she uh, passes the food, oh, and everything like that. But she came to us for my guy. Hey guys, welcome back to Orton. So this is our third attempt at shooting this video. So there's a lot to cover, and there's a lot that you didn't get to see that we wanted you guys to see. The problem is, is my phone does not record audio great. This old iPhone 8, you know, it's been around for a minute. I think I was leaving high school when this phone came out. I mean, I want to actually throw this. This is my phone. But, we've tried to record this video multiple times this week. This was supposed to go out yesterday. Yesterday being Monday, Memorial Day. You know, that's when this was all supposed to go out. You're supposed to get two videos this week that you're not going to get now. And I am sorry about that, guys. But we're going to recap a lot of the same things that we've been trying to do because most of it's just repetitive nature anyways. I know, uh, you're going to listen to me talk right here in the beginning, but that's not going to stay. You're going to get to see some of the animals here soon. We're going to explain what happened with Cerberus. we got a surprise for you guys. Definitely a surprise for myself. Ignore the little audio in the background that's Artemis going crazy in the guest room right now. Which we're going to start shooting in there. I figure it's a safe place where I can set up, have the animals out. And you can get a better look at them on a flat surface right there with me there. So we got a lot to do today. So why don't I go ahead and take care of the main one first. Alright? So guys, we're now in that guest bedroom I was just talking about. And it's time for the first announcement. One of the most important ones that I said I was going to tell you guys. And I've tried to show you guys already three times this week. If you've watched our shorts, you already know what this secret is. And our surprise. It sure did surprise me. And I hope it surprises you guys too. Now, if you've been watching our videos, you know that Warren and Fan have been housed together. This whole time. And you know what these are. That's right. The eggs hatched. Both of them. Even the little runt egg that I thought wouldn't hatch, hatched. So I guess Joey was right in believing that it would hatch. I'm going to just keep those. I don't know why I'm a moment. I love mementos. Like I still have some of the sheds when everyone was still small. But let's get these two little guys out real quick. Because they look completely different from each other. I say that, but they look almost identical. There is some coloration difference. You know, it makes me wonder if they're both Snow Mac, or if they're one Snow Mac and one's normal. Either way, both are in fact Het Lizard. Because of who their dad is, and how he is a blizzard. Now these guys are already doing great. Sorry, I know they're not on camera yet. These guys are doing great. I mean, look at that. These are the first two babies ever produced here at Orr. And this is the one that was born first, and yet it is the runt. It did not come out of the runt egg. In fact, this came out of... Come here. Oh, no! We got escaping geckos. Sorry about that, we're back. These guys are very flighty. These guys are very flaggy, and as such, they jump around all over the place, and sometimes it's hard to keep a wiggle on them. These guys are only three days old, so they're scared of the world right now. So we've got to be careful with them. So I might be very cut this episode. Look at that size difference real quick, if you guys can you know, sit still long enough. Look at the size difference between the two. This one, the yellower one, is actually the youngest sibling right now. And yet he is the bigger of the two. He can't he was born yesterday, or he hatched yesterday. This little baby newt right here hatched it. Well, 
Well, this one hatched on Saturday. And on Saturday, as we went through, I went in there late at night, wasn't expecting anything to happen. I just happened to look in. I saw this guy's little bitty tail peeking out. And I lost my mind. I instantly recorded it. That's how I found out my phone does not have great recording capabilities. And I am sorry, guys. And then yesterday morning, this little guy came out. Oh, and they're both jumping all over the place. We don't want to lose them. You know, these guys are very delicate right now. They are three days old. I don't want to have them out too long. And they're not eating yet. They won't eat for another few days. It's very natural. I have put some crickets in there just be ca just in case these guys want to be weird. Oh. But look at how tiny these guys just are. I mean, and they look completely different. This one has more of dad's coloration while this one more of mom's. But if you look, their patterns are almost identical. And that's kind of interesting to me. Because I thought it would be more unique. This one does have a more unique tail. I mean, this one's strictly striped. I'm just now noticing this. The yellow one's more strictly striped, but it's right here. Look at that. You got this whole breakup and pattern right there. Where this one has a fully striped tail. They're both just absolutely adorable, you know. I'm obsessed with these guys already. So currently, this is where our babies are in, you know. A big old tub, complete overkill. I had no idea how these babies were going to look when I bought them. I wanted it to be a surprise for me like it was going to be for you guys. You know, these guys are absolutely adorable. And we cannot tell you the genders yet because Max Snows, or Snow Max, my bad. There is one issue with them and that's that they can't be identified or they can't be sexed. <laughs> little feisty guy tried to bite my hand. They cannot be sexed through temperature control, like most others. I don't know what the reason is, but you can't do the normal temperature gradients, but right now these guys have been very healthy, I and mean, they're already passing a little. There's a little bit of proof of it in here. <laughs> this guy's just so explorative. Come on back. And I tried to get these guys hatching on video for you. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? Go ahead and put these guys up. They're trying to escape everywhere. I mean, look at that. One guy's already on my shoulder. The other one just escaped as I was trying to get find where he went on my body. These guys are so small I can't see or feel them. Oh, oh you're in my hair. Ooh, yeah. Let's not stress you out too much. Alright, so we're just going to put them back. So we got a little water dish in here, you know, nothing special, just two little rocks that we separate throughout it. The powder you might see in here, right over here, is some calcium powder. Just to make sure they have enough calcium in. These guys are such good climbers. Let's see if I can get it on. Look at that, already. Just, whoop, just got you back in there. So we're just going to go ahead. Couple this all back inward so they don't get out so easily. We're going to, I'm going to go put these guys back and then we'll get on to one of the other things I wanted to tell you. Sorry, the tripod isn't wanting to work, so I'm sorry it's so shaky right now. So I'm going to put these guys back and I'm going to get on to one of the other topics I want to tell you guys before we get on to one of the ones I promised you. See you in a second. So as promised, we got Cerberus out, and I told you I'd tell you guys what's going on with him. Now Cerberus, last week, when we were feeding him, we noticed his face was a lot more swollen. We don't normally handle this guy as much as we should, which has been a pain for me this week because of the treatment the vet gave us. Nothing too extreme, you know. It turns out it's not mouth rot. Which is great news for us. I mean, it's been nothing but good news around here at Or for the last little bit. I mean, the baby's being born. We've got the AC working in here, even if it is just window units. And he doesn't have mouth rock. It's been amazing. 
And right now, he's being like a little puppy dog, you know. He's accepting his pets. He's out of his enclosure, so he's letting me do a little bit more with him. I had to let him get his little wiggles out. Because if I don't, then my arms end up all scratched and everything like that. And that's why I wear these gloves. I work with my hands so much that I can't have anything happen with my hands. Because if that happens, I can't work, if I can't work, I can't feed them, and if I can't feed them, I'm a failure. These are like my children, these are my animals, these are my pets. They take top priority. Well, back to on topic, you know, what was going on with Cerberus here is he's growing. As crazy as that is, you know, we took him in to the vet, expecting something terrible, you know. And like I said, right now he's letting me just kind of hold him. He's about to get a bath. He's been getting one almost every day now since the vet. Well, we take him in there and it's basically he's growing. This is big boy. is just growing weird. So his jaws are kind of growing in before his adult teeth. He's in a stage right now called Guberty, which is Tegu Puberty. So he's going through extreme ghost spurts. I mean, right here, he was just this tiny little new. And that was almost a year ago, I want to say. And I was still feeding this guy pinkies and mice. And now he's onto rats. I mean, that's how much these guys change in so little time. And right now, because he's been going through such this growth spurt, and it doesn't really show on the camera all that well. If I can, he'll let me get him a little bit closer. If you look right there on the side, his gums kind of stick out just a little bit. Not too bad. You know, just a little bit. And basically what's going on is the reason that his gums are getting inflamed whenever he's eating is he's basically gumming everything to death right now. You know, so it's causing his gums to get a little irritated because they're not used to that. They're used to having those teeth there to help. But his adult teeth, they aren't quite in yet. And the other thing that is going on is he is dehydrated. I am not surprised by this. I have barely ever seen this big boy drink water. And one of the cool things the vet told me is that it is believed that lizards do a thing called water transportation. Which means they sit down in water and like amphibians, soak it through the skin. Now this has been both proven and disproven, or it's not been proven. It is believed to have been disproven, but it's not quite been proven, not quite disproven. So we're going to soak him anyways, like we have been all week. It's not going to hurt him any. He'll just sit there in water so he can easily get a drink orally if that's what he needs. He can soak it through the skin through that water transportation if that's how he does it. And just in case, you know, he's like Chameleon or like uh, Chandler's Bushmasters that drink moving water or water off their skin. After about five, 10 minutes, we go through and we just mist down everything, including him, just so there's plenty of water in there for him to lap up and that's just sitting there. And he's just being a good boy, you know. This is why I love my Arjun, my Tegus. I mean, he'll just sit there and he's a little puppy dog once he's out. He's a pain in the butt to get out, but once he's out, he's usually pretty good, and I can just, you know, treat him like a little, another little dog. And at some point, we do want to start taking him on hikes, but it's time for this guy's bath, so I'm going to go ahead and put him in there. And I'm going to explain to you guys one more thing that happened this week. And that'll be about it for this video. I mean, you guys are going to get a lot this week. Uh, I think I'm going to record three videos this week because, uh, you know... We were supposed to already have one for Monday, and that's not going to happen. And then we're going to have the feeding video. You know, that one's probably going to go up on Thursday, like it was meant to originally be scheduled. I think I'll just drop one for this weekend, too, you know? Just try and get a bunch out there and then try to do the normal Tuesday and, or uh, Monday, Thursday videos that I want to do. This way, you guys have one for the week and one for at the end of the week. All right, let's go put this big boy in the back. Alright guys, one other thing. Let me know. Do you like me just sitting in this room recording the animals in here, you know? Not too much going on. 
what do you want to see more often of? I mean, we can do little interviews with the animals, explain what's going on with them in here, or we keep the normal design of me cleaning enclosures and feeding them and everything like that. I just need to know. You know, I know this is kind of Lent's reptiles thing, but it was such a cool idea for me to just get servers out here. He does not like being held all that much. We're really trying to work with him on that. We haven't had the chance to handle him like we wanted to. I mean, at first when we moved down to Tennessee and he was finally at the age for us to start handling him at that a little bit more reliably, I was working 7-12s. Impossible. Joey was working 30 minutes away and you just can't reasonably do that. And then it, when I wasn't working 7-12s, we were getting the house. You know, it was just a crazy time all around. We didn't have time to handle Serb, so he's been a grumpy butt. And we're trying to help him with that. But I thought it would be a good way for me to just set him out and you guys get a good look at him without him acting crazy or something like that. But anyways, if you've been a long watcher of the channel, you know, or not even a long watcher, if you watched any of our other videos, you probably know who this is. That's right. This is War. The reason she's been named that is because when we, when I originally got her out when, about last September, when we got her mailed to us, she was me. She'd run away, she'd bite my fingers, and if a lot of bird gecko bites you, it doesn't feel like anything but sandpaper touching you. It's very intriguing. And she is our Snow Mac. Leopard gecko. You know, this is not a natural occurring morph or anything like that. Uh, in fact, when these guys are found in you know, like Mongolia and China and all of that, because these are Asian geckos, they are, you got the African fat tailed geckos that look almost similar to them. In every way, but a little bit darker from what I can tell. But these guys, but as you can see, she's looking just a little skinny. I mean, look at that tail. That tail is not as fat as it should be. So we've separated her from war. Just for about a month, you know, or separated her from famine. Ugh, it's hard to keep track sometimes. We've get separated her from famine so she can get a little bit of a break from breeding season. He's just in breed, breed, breed mode right now. So we're going to give them her a break, let her build up the calcium that she's defic that uh, she's lost in all the egg laying. Because she laid a third clutch of eggs on the day the babies were born. Or the oldest baby was born. And the little baby knew. Yeah, I went in there. I was about to add water. To everyone's dish and right there in her water dish she had laid a clutch of eggs her biggest clutch so far so we want to make sure that she has some time separate and get a uh, some good calcium some good meat back on her but that does not mean this is gluttony obviously named such because she's a little bit on the thicker side and this is his new girlfriend, we believe, or I believe, it's hard to tell right now. You know, people who actually know leopard geckos, if you know what morph she is, please tell me. I believe, I want to say a bell tangerine, but I can't be certain until we breed her to others. And see what morphs come later on down the line. She is very beautiful. Obviously not a normal, she doesn't have the bandings of a normal. But she is very high yellow, very, very bright. She's about two years old, and she is a rescue to us. We originally got her a month and a half ago. You know, she's out of quarantine a little early. We wanted to do it every. Th we wanted her to be quarantined for three months. But uh, uh, she hasn't shown any signs of illness. She does occasionally get some stuff shed on her toes, and that's about the worst of it. But she eats. She uh, passes her food. Oh, and everything like that. But she came to us from a guy. I got a friend at work who asked me if I wanted to take in a leopard gecko. I was like, yeah, sure. And 
he just gave me contacts to someone else who was her original owner. And he was getting rid of her because she was bought for the kids. You know, leopard geckos make for great pets. Good responsibility. Not as needy as a dog, but not as lazy as a fish. Or boring. You're about to bite my ear because it sure looks like you are. But, uh, he bought her for the kids and the kids weren't taking care of her. You know, they would just dump the mealworms in in the morning. And that'd be about the gist of it. So we took her in. And she's been doing very well. We currently introduced her to war, and he's already locked up with her. So we believe she's already gravid. So in two weeks, we should have little babies coming around. Oh! Now she's surprisingly better than the first days we got her. You could tell she was never handled before. She's doing a lot better. And we haven't shown her on video because we didn't know how she would do. And I didn't want her to, you know, just pass away and you guys be like, oh! Give us an update on gluttony. And she just not be around. And that's not what we want. We want this to be a happy channel. But sometimes some things happen. And we gotta explain. But yeah so this is. Famine's new girlfriend. This is gluttony. <laughs> and War's gonna be separated from him. For about another month. And that's pretty much gonna be it. For this episode. You know it's not gonna be a long one. Not as long as a lot of the other ones. But, uh, just to kind of recap what, what's gone on this weekend, since my phone does not want to record audio properly. But, uh, you know, you guys stick around. Please subscribe. We're almost at 20 subscribers, and it, I don't even have that many videos out. It is mind-blowing to me how fast we are already growing. I don't tell people about the channel at work. I don't tell people about the channel at home. I wanted the first thousand to be you guys and you guys alone. You know, and you guys are doing amazing at it. Some words getting around. And I'm trying to figure out right now what what you guys want to see, you know. A lot of you click away before the end of the video. And I can't tell you what you want to see if you don't tell me down in the comments or something like that. So just let us know what you want to see. You know. The next video should have Joey recording, so it'll probably be in the reptile room since it'll be feeding day for everyone but the three ticks. Three ticks will be fed this weekend since, like I said last video, they're now on a 10-day feeding schedule. And that does not make Lilith happy. She has been eyeing me all week since she passed the yesterday. and Or was it the day before? Either way. So yeah, we're going to just... I need you guys to let me know. What do you want to see? Who do you want to see more of? Maybe you want to see more Hell. You know, I've only shown her, I think, once or twice on the channel. Maybe you want to see more of, uh, Gargoyle. You know, watch the Burmese Python grow up. And right now we're working on building up everything. I, I gotta get a business license. I might eventually get a Facebook page. So I can record, or, uh, post these guys on there for sale. Not them. The babies. Obviously. Duh. Don't get your hopes up. You're not getting my kids. Uh, but yeah, just let us know. What do you want to see? Who do you want to see? How do you want to see it? You know, uh, you want to see more of it on this table right here where I'm just sitting down and everything's nice and calm? Or do you want to see them back in their enclosures? You know, we can even do a mix match of all of it. You know, let's bring someone out one day and then just do the normal stuff. But right now we're working, we're really close to being able to finally get Lillian Naga and Gargoyle their new enclosures. And then we can start working on getting other animals. Right now we've kind of put in for a lottery for uh, starry breed frogs. No guarantee we're going to get those. I don't know why I'm even telling you this, so just cut that out. But uh, yeah, we plan to get more animals eventually. Right now we're still growing. I want to get some more leopard geckos. Get some more, uh, what's it called? Breeding racks. And I want to get another Mexican black king snake. I think that's going to be the next one we start breeding here in the next year. Is going to be king snakes. And then hopefully the year after that, if not next year too, we're going to start breeding, uh, 
Reed ticks. I do at some point really want to start breeding reed ticks. My dream is to eventually breed a cow. And that... Because reed ticks are my favorite. Reed ticks, reed ticks are what got my attention in the reptile community. Right there beside saltwater crocodiles, which I eventually want to work my way up to. And everything like that. And hopefully at some point we'll reach that. Right now we'll start with what we got. And in a few years I want to eventually leave this house for a bigger house. So then we can start working on the zoo and everything like that. Through the laws here in Tennessee. But once we get there, I think we're going to get us a caiman. But maybe before then we're going to get some snapping turtles. You know, we got to build up the collection, don't we? Make it interesting for a reptile room tour or something like that. But right now I'm going to go put these guys back and... That'll be it for this episode, you know. Sorry for the rant, sorry for the long talks. But this is the beginning of the channel, and you guys get to dictate how it goes. So, thank y'all for watching. Catch you in the next video. Stay happy, love nature, love one another. And that'll be it. If you want to see that feeding video I was talking about, watch, click right here. If you want to see the very first episode where all we did was clean and kind of talk about the animals. Watch this episode right here. Alright, till the next one.